I mean, yeah. Hand buffs with Swarm Guard and Quilter feels really powerful. Best deck right at the expansion release? I don't know, man. I'm not I'm not even trying to build the best decks. I'm just trying to build cool decks. Ooh. Evil deck. Okay, so this is this is the uh League of Evil stuff, right? We played against the the heroic deck before. Evil totem. That is evil. We probably like every other Death Knight deck. Just want a mulligan for mining casualties, though, which is kind of funny. How did they get that totem? They're playing Whizbang. So Whizbang replaces your deck with one of the experimental decks, which include cards that are not otherwise legal and standard. This will break. Mm -hmm. They have three lackeys. We missed this guy, rude. Why not CNE? I barely have any corpse spenders. Makes CNE pretty bad. When is theory crafting? It is happening right now. This is theory crafting. That's how I'm playing with the new cards. Lackeys are not back. Lackeys are in the evil Whizbang deck. Okay. Discover a spell. Is the Whizbang any good? I mean any good in terms of, like, is it a powerful card to be playing? Probably not. Is it good as in, like, is it a, is it a cool, fun card that I'm happy it exists? Yes. It's time to play this. Yeah. And that will... Th those dying... Yeah. Boom. Three, five, seven. And we'll say go. I think I want to wait on this until after we have Acolyte Crop Rotation to get more cards. They could obviously have, like, Brawl. And they have a ton of Blackies, right? They have Bladestorm, this is in the way at least, which is nice. <sighs> Trial by Fire! Wow, you have new cards and old cards. Cheater. it's worth like if I acolyte crop rotation I actually overdraw a card I think I'm gonna play mon pot and shoot this dr. boom scheme oh I stopped their schemes chat what uh, what excuse me dr. boom Hero? Can't this thing dance any faster? Yeah, that's evil. That's definitely evil. Huh. My goal is to make this guy as big as possible. I think I want to wait. Mm, maybe I don't. Maybe, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to play these guys. I also need to make room in my hand. Those will make this guy huge. All right. Well, uh, how many how many mechs you got? We're getting Doctor Boomed, finaleed. Okay. What was? Oh, that was from the Draconic Lackey. I'm like, huh? 
One more death can't hurt. I'm like a tired Do I care about this? Probably not. More than anything, I just want this guy to get as huge as possible. I guess I could just cast... cast yeah, we'll cast this. Then we can attack with this. Which buffs this. And now I will just play this. So this guy's just going to do 12,000 damage each turn. Where's the other one? I need the other the other quilter to truly get the 12 billion damage per turn effect. Okay. I forget. I don't even remember what the, what these are. What even are the the, the treasures? This is a different Togwaggle. This is High Sphere and Togwaggle. You're thinking of the original Togwaggle. Okay, you get a Reska in your deck from a Togwaggle scheme. No muncher. Okay. I have no way to like kill this kill my own guy here, unfortunately. Eh. This is a 15 power guy, this is a 10 power guy. The citadel stands strong. Alright, well. Very dead or alive. Here's my uh Two 1210s or 1211s. And now you can go. Discover a legendary minion. Okay. Ba-ba-boom! I wanted to kill him with the Quillboard. That was the plan from the beginning. So, we did it. <laughs> okay. I think this is worth keeping. I mean, this card is really powerful in this deck, too. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep these two. Maybe this is bad. Oh, boy. Double crop rotation. We're going to wait on this. This one definitely wants corpses. I mean, we have this into this into this into this is two five fours, which isn't actually even necessarily that good. <laughs> Ooh, we got the quilter. Please play stuff for me to crop rotation this turn. I'm just playing it. This may seem insane, but... I want the corpses. The light dims, but fight. Okay, speaking of corpses... Ma and Pa with the spell stuns is actually sick. Every single turn it upgrades them. <sighs> I wanted to do this with it, but I don't think I can with that. Um, okay, I'm gonna do this. This into this. Pair of six fives. That upgrades the spell thing again. But yeah, I want to save the crop rotation to go with Acolyte here. I mean, this already has big numbers, and it's going to get bigger numbers. 
Okay. Bunch of cards for me. All right. Not my fault. <laughs> that was really good. A couple of turns. It is funny after the first game, people being like, "You need card draw," and it's like I have the exact amount of card draw, you know, in in my deck in this game and the last game, and I like just constantly have a full hand. It's just a matter of the parts of your deck you draw sometimes. Ooh, the plushie! Alright. Headless Horseman. Oh boy. Hey, that's his line. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Into this. Into this. I have a 10 power quilter, a 10 power muncher. We can also grime walker quilter, because this gives it poison. Oh! I guess I can't do that, because they did that. Rude. I assume they're like equality my board or something, because this is just going to explode them otherwise. <laughs> Rude. Rude. Well. All right. I'm so sad that my dude got my dude got nuked by that dirty rat. I wonder if they're a Highland deck. We've only ever seen single cards out of them so far, by the way. Why do streamers get early access to the cards before launch? By the time I get to play them, the deck's open set. That's just demonstrably not true. There's not nearly enough games that happen in this particular deck. No! Oh. So sad. All the tiny fins. Yep, that's real good. Okay. Don't like that at all. Um. Don't look for Tiny Fen. Sini, we do not have, uh, because we don't really generally spend, like, the only card that spends a bunch of corpses in our deck is Ma and Pa, right? It, we don't have, we don't have, like, stuff like, um, Corpse Bride, things like that. Man, that, that Dirty Rat hitting our Quilter is so sad. We're gonna have to rebuild this Quilter. Although, I, I don't have that many hand buff things left. I only have Blood Tap. I have the other Puppeteer, actually. They look like they're a Reno deck, by the way. We could get reno on our gigantic boards at any time, which is very sad. Yeah, Sini would be great this game. Uh, but it's, you know, in most circumstances, it's not going to be very good. That is a second copy of Burrow Buster. That does mean they can just play the, the dragon, though. Yep. That's real bad. Mm -hmm. I am at 44. I can play a ton of stats myself. Alright, well here's three seven nines and two nine eights. Yeah, yeah. 
they could have shroom scooted, which would be unfortunate to be able to clear through some of these, but why would I want ETC? ETC seems like trash in a deck like this. Um, I do have another Grimewalker, which is super good with Quilter. So if they do end up with like a big board, we can have Grimewalker Quilter later. Okay. Yeah. We did fortunately make sure that these, I mean, these could trip, you know, eat these. We might end up needing to. There's Grimewalker. So Grimewalker, Quilter. I think we do just go face and, and hope that this kills all their guys. Yeah. Okay, it did. Grimewalker Quilter uh, is disgusting. Pew pew pew. Uh huh. Yeah, not a death battle. End of your turn trigger. Okay. was uh that was sick this combo is disgusting oh same opponent the time for battle draws nigh. Well met. Greetings. it is pretty mediocre Bonk! any mining casualties, we don't have any spinal spell stones. Um, I mean, we have some good candidates for blood tap. I'm just gonna blood tap here. Um, I don't, I mean, we could potentially use prosthetic hand. That's an interesting option. I don't really necessarily feel like it's, you know, necessary, but it could be good. Um, I might just coin the horseman here. Mm. I can also just, no, I can also just kill it with this and this. I don't necessarily, like, horseman is slightly awkward. Like, I, I feel like I can do better with horseman, and right now I also kind of need... Yeah, prosthetic. Oh, prosthetic hand isn't. Yeah, you, prosthetic hand isn't itself an undead. So no, it, it seems bad actually. If you're not playing generic hand buff stuff, you have some generic hand buff stuff, but most of the good stuff in this deck uh, specifically buffs undead. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to use it then. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Like I could do with coin horseman. I think this is a bit better because it uh, generates corpses that we can use to then blood tap and you know play a gigantic swarm guard or anything. We also still have horsemen. They have like another large thing. Oh boy. Okay. Geo. That's rude. All right. Well, it's really bad for us if they have Finley. They have three minions in hand for our spells. Here's a swarm guard. Yeah. 
Yep, they had Finley. Finley with the, the, the Geo here is obviously really bad for me. Mm hmm. I do not have a Grime Walker to go with the Quilter. I think we're just playing Muncher. Muncher kills this. Gains is nine. Okay. Maybe Burrow Buster. Tigress Plushy. Okay. Yep. We are still very much in the market for. Spike Ridge Steed, okay. I didn't even remember that was still around. Well, we really need Grimewalker, and we don't have it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and Headless Horseman. Kill this, we can hero power this. We're close to dead, though. You gotta use the emotes of the Headless Horseman if I'm gonna play Headless Horseman. Any Grime Walkers? Uh, nine plus six. I'm almost dead. I'm at three. Any Grime Walkers? One more death can't hurt. I'm dead. Grimewalker is not enough now. Still no Grimewalker. Still no Grimewalker. There's a Grimewalker! And I'm dead. Yeah, I mean, him having the Finley that turn uh, into our buff board and me never finding Grimewalker really just put us in a position where it's like, we're not going to win that. Womp. Oh, womp. Alright, let's... Mulligan all this. Hmm. Hollow Hound could be a good choice to have a copy of in this deck. I mean, I have no Muncher already, so I don't really... Like, I, like, I think I like no Muncher a lot better. Because it can just kill an opponent. But maybe maybe having Hollow Hound is, is worth... Draw another minion so we don't waste anything from uh, harmonics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I agree that Hallhound is, has potential. That's another another excellent buff carrier, so we're happy with that. Got those two puffs. Snoozing. There is fortunately no more objection, so worst case scenario, this is like explosive runes. Yep. Still two three fives. <laughs> Don't miss you, objection. Uh, this is the Gladiator Mograine hero skin. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna do this to get two of these. Please don't star power me again. That would be really bad. He didn't object. Okay. What secret do you have now? Mm-hmm. Infinitize. Yep. Not explosive this time. Oh no, it was explosive. I needed you. Okay. Yep. This is one of those games where people say, play more card draw when I just don't draw. My card draw, my card draw gets killed. Mm-hmm. 
Crossbow, it's back. It's annoying that they are leaving it and I don't get the corpse off, but that makes me sad. Oh, okay, they're killing it. Okay, that's fine. Ugh, this is such a bad spot. Explosive? Not explosive. Yeah, this game's going really poorly with that. With them having infinitized and having the explosive to kill my Acolyte of Death. Like, this is a pretty awkward card here. This is also uh, a reasonable argument to potentially have this not be Reska and have this be something else. Like, if I were able to, you know, if I had, uh, like, Northern Navigation, for instance. Um, and could like dig for say mining casualties to generate more uh, more corpses. It might just be better. This is obviously a more powerful card, but it is a, uh, a card that that potentially leads to like a lower consistency. Oh, what? Excuse me, what? Hollow tech. Yeah, Reska uses buff poorly too. Also quite true. Both players draw. Destroy the card that co slayers. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to hero power because the hollow tech will die to it. And then I think it's time. Stand and fight. If this like destroys my horseman's head, so we don't get it, that would be the the, the, the saddest thing. Uh, mine blew up. It is over. Your search is done. Let they choose now. The righteous one. Mm -hmm. Elusive. I can't shoot it with this hero power, which was not a, which was not an issue previously. <laughs> yep. Funny, this this is what I wanted to play next was you know all uh, uh all uh. Bell Mage. It's funny that it also blew up our, our Chillfall Baron, which is like our other tool for you know for, for drawing cards. Yeah. Got blown up. That's the third explosive runes that they've discovered. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, the Reska seems like it kind of sucks. I think maybe Northern Navigation is a better choice. You know, finding finding crop rotation, finding hand buff cards, finding mining casualties. Mm-hmm. Yup. You're not pinging it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Another explosive runes? The head! Okay, that was great. We got the head. Now we discover undead. We've got the head. Now we discover undead. Mwa ha 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 or something. Not explosive. Gimme. Alright. Yep. Whoa. Ah, wish upon a star! Holy shit! <laughs> we cast battle and bandits twice and then wish upon a star? What is this bullshit? <laughs> okay, we need a sickly grime walker right now. That was so funny. Holy cow. Uh-huh. That's not a grime walker. That's so 
funny. Crime Walker? I assume that one of these is a counter spell. That was wild. Okay. They just they just randomly have an eight six workshop shit. <laughs> oh my god. Everything generated minions and then it cast by ship on a star. Holy cow. This is this is very much a set that is reminiscent of classic Hearthstone with Yogg absolutely smashing me here. They don't have minions in their deck to buff with Mishkan with the star, but they have a bunch of uh, of dudes from the Badlands Bandits because it casts two of them. They, they hand buffs way more than I did with the Wish Upon a Star. Am I just playing this with the other guy or do I play this? I think I'll play this. Like, I'm not dead, but I'm like on board here. Another puppeteer, sure. I'm like almost dead on board. Like, this is the only way I like win win. It's because I have to. Oh, right, they have a rush guy. Am I dead? They have 20. Oh, yeah, I am dead with, with the rush guy, yeah. Yeah, that was. Uh, like, what I needed was to get uh, the Quilter plus Grimewalker. It was really the only, the only way for me to come back from that kind of board, which is why I wanted to play the, the card draw to be able to dig for it and still be able to actually get to that the following turn. We were hoping to potentially get it with a hero power, but... Okay, yeah, we got we got Yogg in a box. And now it's our time to play Yogg in a box, because that's the deck I was planning on playing on next already.